Hello once again, this is Eric. Today we're going to talk about how to decide which pressure switch replacement you need. Here we have some uh, various pressure switches, different brands, very popular styles. We have a furnace pressure switch here. We have a couple Condor switches here, another very popular brand. And lastly, a Square D brand pressure switch. You know a few specs uh, to replace the pressure switch. You'll need to know a few uh, specifications. First off, your uh, on-off switch. Now this is a typical wire handle on-off switch, auto on and off. And in the Condor switch, we have a typical dial switch on-off on top of the cover. Secondly, we have the unloader valve, another very important specification. This is a furnace pressure switch with a typical uh, multi-position unloader valve. It allows you to adjust the position of the unloader valve to stick straight up, sideways, however your unloader tube installs into it. This is a male compression, a quarter inch compression style thread. Here on the Condor switches, we have a different type of unloader valve. This is a quick connect, a quarter inch uh, quick connect tube. And on your Square D, another quarter inch compression style thread, but it's located on the bottom of the switch, unlike on the side of the switch in the furnace. Now to attach the unloader tube on your furnace pressure switch, simply thread it on to the compression thread. Now your replacement might have a different type of unloader valve, a quick connect. If you have a quick connect on your replacement, simply enough what you'll do, take your unloader tube, your quarter inch plastic or nylon line, cut it flush so that there's no angle, make sure it is flush and clean. You'll simply press it into the quick connect unloader valve and the teeth inside will hold it in place. All right. And another specification you'll need to know is whether you have a single port or a four port pressure switch. Here the furnace switch, it, we have a single quarter inch female thread to your tank. And on our condor switch, for instance, we have a four port. Of course, your quarter inch going down to your tank. And we have accessory ports on either side in the front. For instance, you would have a pressure gauge or a safety valve installed into one of the accessory ports. And of course, You'll have a single port and four port design in all different brands. And of course, wiring a pressure switch, pretty simple. All of our pressure switches, they will wire for either 110 volts, 115, or 230, 240 volts. Labeled pretty clearly on the contacts, here we have two wires for the line up top for your power cord, and two line for the motor, the black and white for your motor, pretty simple. And two ground wires, of course, for your ground. And that is how to decide which pressure switch you need. Once again, thank you for watching.